G-1000 Navy destroyer, formerly known as the DDX, is now being readied for battles of the future, and it will be nothing less than a revolution at sea. From a command and control point of view, Aegis cruisers are a mainstay in the uh, surface fleet and in battle group operations. However, we're transitioning now into the next generation and uh, with DDX, uh, which uh, will bring something called total ship computing environment and uh, integrate uh, communications from uh, really a broad range of uh, um, assets that we have available to us. Uh, we'll continue the legacy of new ships bringing tremendous command and control capability uh, to the battle group and now to the battle force. Perhaps most interesting about the DDG-1000 is its low to the water, wave piercing tumble home hull form. Sloping inward above the water, this design actually reduces resistance from waves and the heavy rocking that can affect radar identification. An all-electric drive will eliminate drive shaft gears and reduce the acoustic signature, making the DDG-1000 far less trackable by the enemy. Running silent, not deep, this new destroyer will be quieter than a submarine. Among its onboard technological breakthroughs, the AnSpy-3 multifunction radar will take the place of five separate radar systems and be able to detect even the most advanced, low-observable anti-ship cruise missiles. Plus, there's a new gun system that is truly unique. We have an advanced gun that's going to be delivered on the uh, DDX, uh, which will uh, provide a significant, significant increase in range and performance and effectiveness so that we can not only with uh, cruise missiles, um, we can with advanced guns uh, affect the outcome of, uh, of land battle. That advanced gun system will be able to strike at targets from up to 100 miles away.